Welcome back to Why Should We Care About African Data Centers, the podcast where we tackle the big questions shaping the industry. I'm your host, Villa Vaklin, and today we are at the Africa Data Center Association Golf Day at Devonvale Golf Course. We are having small chats with some of the industry leaders and trying to find out what kind of year we had in 2025 and what we are expecting from 2026. Yeah, let's do it. T1 done and dusted, how was it? Well, always a bit of a challenge before your body gets used to the swing. <laughs> and then once you get a, you know, a run of things, then it gets easier. Cool. Yeah. So 2025 in data center industry, what happened? Um, any highlights? What's the sentiment and so forth? Well, that's a very good question as we come to the close of the year. So this year we've seen lots of um, data centers and the vendors get into the AI capabilities of things. Okay. So we've seen a lot of conversations around how to integrate, rather how to have AI inside these data centers. So in matters cooling, we've had yeah. lots of that happening. People are now designing you know, uh, data centers with the cooling in mind. So the traditional way of doing things is now changing. So that's one of it. And then, of course, investments into that. We've had governments come in and uh, get involved. So, for example, in Morocco, we've had uh, Digital Morocco 2030. Okay. And in South Africa, uh, the digital cloud policy. So we've seen lots of interest in the African government in matters data center in the cloud. And then in the imaging, um, in the edge computing as well, okay. you know, at least to reduce the latencies. So with, with the high mobile penetration uh, in African uh, countries, the, the edge computing has become uh, quite significant. So lots of conversations around that. And then as well, the, the sustainability and the green energy aspect. So that right. has been in the conversation and it's also now picking up where you've seen lots of all these players investing in more greener technologies, moving into the sustainable energy mix, you know, solar, wind, hydro. And uh, of course, most recently you've seen Kenya has been lauded as an early adopter of green energy. So that continues to grow and we continue to see that happening in Africa as you go into the 2026, 2027 years. So key highlights are those from, in my opinion, and I know there are more, but uh, yeah. those are the ones that I, I have seen most significant to, come, to have this conversation right. with, yeah. Let's open for T2 and um, I'll have a few more questions after that. All right, All right the challenge go. is on, let's do this. <laughs> awesome. So regarding the AI, do we already see some infrastructure being built or is it still on the kind of talking level? Um, well, what is the status at the moment? To be honest, uh, there's been lots of conversations around that and actionably we've seen lots of vendors designing. But in terms of adoption in Africa, there's still the issue of power and the constraints. So the conversation is there, but the action of having that on the ground, I haven't seen it. Okay. Could be there. Maybe it hasn't been announced. Maybe it's still on the down low, but I haven't seen any deployment yet. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll speak about the future with faith in a minute. But. Yeah. So what about other deals? Are we seeing deals going through new capacity being built? And for sure in South Africa a lot, but beyond South Africa, how's the year been? The, of course, the tier one markets, the Kenya, the Nigeria, you know, Morocco, South Africa, and now Egypt. We've seen lots of uh, interests in those areas and the various players, of course, announcing that they are deploying this and that. Yeah. So most of this is still 
in that stage of we are planning to do one to three. Yeah. And as much as investment uh, conversations go, there's been a few of those that have already put in some money, especially in South Africa. So um, there's, I don't know how to put it in a more politically correct manner. Yeah. Uh, we don't need to be politically <laughs> there's, correct. The there's lots of money in the business. There's lots yeah. of conversations about invest, investments. And uh, in, as to what they're investing it in, is it growth? Is it AI in particular? Is it opening up new data centers? Of course, we've seen players like ADC. We've seen players like um, Equinix yeah. announced the other day in Johannesburg. So all these conversations, of course, can be picked up in fr the, from the public because they're out in the public eye. Yeah. And that is the only thing we can talk about. Those in the private um, domain of the various uh, data centers, yeah. we still cannot speak much about them. Yeah. But there's definitely a lot of interest and investments coming to Africa. Yeah, that's what this, I see as the, well. Yeah, it's, it's there. It's there. And it's coming and it's, it's, it's huge. So, of course, they have to look at the risks aspects and power being a major constraint as it is worldwide. In Africa, we are not... It's not like we are safe. We still have power issues. So yeah. all those factors have to come into consideration before, you know, they fully deploy, before investors come in. Yeah, but yeah. these deals are on the table for sure. Yeah. yeah. So in a nutshell, we've seen a slightly slow year of 2025, but yeah. a lot of bubbling under, a lot of enthusiasm in the sector, money coming in, not yet deployed yeah. uh, and so forth. So, so we can be hopeful for 2026. There's a lot of hope, yes. We cannot uh, lose hope. Hope is the only thing we have at the moment, <laughs> I would say, in most uh, spheres of life. Yeah, but uh, Africa is definitely, you know, the next frontier. And the more we understand how we operate, how business is done in Africa, the better it's going to be for the investors and for those of us who are consumers of this technology. And in as much as um, the growth is being seen, we also have to think of other players like governments. How do they... How do they come in? Yeah. So we have to speak one language and have these conversations in rooms and make sure that everybody understands what the risks are and what's really happening on the ground. Thank you, Mary. Let's finish off the T2. Great. <laughs> Exciting. Yeah. Thank you. Ciao. Hello, Faith. How are you doing? Good. Good. How's the day? How's the golf? Awesome. It's hot, but the golf is incredible. It's super hot. I mm. was uh, burning myself. But now, thanks to the Schneider hats, I, I should be safe. <laughs> so, hey, um, let's look into the 2026. Yes. What are we expecting in the African data center market? So the industry was quite slow in 2025, um, based on changes in AI design architectures changing, um, construction types changing, people wanting more and more to think through edge versus big facilities, hyperscale, colo. But I'm trusting that 2026 will have momentum. We're already starting to see that momentum. So we have started seeing boxes of high compute uh, servers being shipped to Africa. I've having, seen those photos as well. Uh -huh. We've seen containers of AI data centers being built across Africa. So I'm quite hopeful that 2026 will have an amazing momentum. Great, great. So the momentum you see finally in the AI deployments, uh, what else is going to move in 2026? 2026, I see a lot of investment moving. Investment has been slow into Africa. There's been a lot of red tape, risk avoidance. I think the risk appetite for Africa is changing because whether we like it or not, the demographic exists to be able to work on AI. We built the skill set in the youth. The youth are adopting to AI, digital skills, and that's what drives growth. And We've seen countries like Kenya, Nigeria, South Africa, and a few others driving that momentum strategically by putting in the skills, by bringing in the investment, 
by governments working together with private sector. And now at this Africa Com week in 2025, we'll actually see investors, policymakers, regulators, and the industry sitting together to actually plan for the future. Plan the power, plan the skill set, plan the growth. Yeah, so obviously South Africa is leading the market and has been leading the market and will be leading the market uh, for capacity for, um, for 2026 as well. And then we have the obvious ones, Nigeria and Kenya. Mm. What are your top two ones to watch countries where, where things uh, will be happening in 2026 outside these obvious ones? I would say Morocco, okay. Egypt, Djibouti, and as small as Rwanda is, set your eyes on Rwanda. Okay. Cool. So we feel optimistic about 2026? Absolutely. Great. Let's continue to T4, right? Yes, All and right. then we tee off 2026. <laughs> this podcast is part of the Data Governance in Africa initiative, helping the African Union shape data policies, enable cross-border data flows, and build secure, sustainable digital infrastructure. Funded by the EU and five member states, it supports a unified digital market in Africa.